Hello again. In this uh, lesson, we are going to talk about charts. Let's go to our practice topic. Actually, let's change the name to practice topic. Our previous lesson was about icons. I'm going to take them out, list some of them. Um, our arrows by holding the shift key on my keyboard on windows and dragging with the mouse i can select several objects at the same time and group them so these two objects which is uh, the girl with the glasses will behave as one element so then, charts. Let's go to insert, chart. And we have a series of predefined a library or some templates for charts. Lines, bars, pie charts, columns, scattered type of charts with multiple axes and a hierarchy. Let's use bars. Select a simple one for today. The first choice that we have to make is if we want a dark or a light chart. And the only difference between them is the color of the text and the rulers the color of the text. If you choose a chart for a dark background, it will present a light text and lines. And if you have a, a light background, then you prefer a light a chart. Let's put them the other way around so we can see. Okay, this chart is for light backgrounds. And this chart is for darker backgrounds it's your choice the kind of charts in the advanced lesson we talk about the scatter multiple axis pie charts and also how to upload external data to modify the values on your chart in order to modify your chart select and click here on edit chart we have basically options to edit the data or different settings for your chart. Do we want to show the values in numbers of our chart? Can you see here? And do we want to show the values inside the bars or outside? For now, we will keep them inside. I will show you why next. Colors. You can use different colors for different values. Do you want a grid or not? In this case, the only option we have for the grid is vertical because we have horizontal columns. But with other types of charts, we will be presented with more options. Do we want the grid to be stronger or lighter? And we can also set the title. for each of the axes. Do we want to start at a specific point? This is uh, very useful to manage the amount of space that the chart will use on screen. Let's make a test. Let's say that we have one of our columns that is very long. You have one of the columns because the number is very much higher than the rest. This column is too long, which means that the chart 
will use a lot of white space and eventually use space on your Prezi and your presentation on your screen that you don't want. So then let's set a maximum display data of, let's say, 10,000. What happens is that these two bars for USA and China, which are predefined values, are cut to a maximum of 10,000. Why did we choose to keep the numbers inside the columns? Just because of that. If we show the values outside the columns, some will not show. If we want, at any time, we can reset to the original. This is for internationalization, where you can have the formats using dots or commas, uh, different decimal separators. Do you want to abbreviate thousands and millions? See what happens. Do you want to change how it's visualized? And this is a chart that we end with. Keep tuned for the advanced lesson on charts because we have some more information to share with you.